Hi, I want to show you how to answer an exam question on species biodiversity. This question is about the biodiversity of bees. We're told that bees are flying insects that feed on nectar from flowers and that there are many different species of bee. Scientists collected bees from three different habitats throughout the year for three years. The natural habitat was likely to have been wild meadow or woodland, although we're not actually told that. The town and farm habitats would have much more human influence over them. The question asks whether a student's conclusions about the data are correct. So is it correct that the natural habitat is the most favourable and that the town habitat is the least favourable to bees? Click pause here and try and write an answer for yourself before hearing what I have to say about it. There's quite a lot of information in these two graphs. Some of it supports the conclusions made by the student and some refutes them. I'm going to highlight some of the evidence that we could use to answer the question. Let's focus on each conclusion in turn. Starting with, the natural habitat is the most favourable for bees. There are at least three pieces of evidence that support this conclusion. The maximum number of bees is found in the natural habitat. The mean number of bees remains the highest in the natural habitat for most of the 250 day study period. And the mean bee species richness is highest in the natural habitat throughout the entire study period. However, mean bee numbers do drop to the lowest out of the three habitats for the last 30 days. So whether we choose to say the student's conclusion is supported or not, there is some evidence to back up that claim. Let's look now at the next conclusion, that the town is the least favourable habitat for bees. Again, there's evidence to support this conclusion and there's evidence to go against it. The maximum values for species richness in the farmland and for the natural habitats are both higher than anything the town habitat has to offer. And also, the mean species richness in the towns is the lowest out of the three habitats from day 125 onwards. However, mean species richness is lowest in the farmland initially, as are the mean bee numbers. So again, whether we write in support of the student's conclusion or in opposition, we have some evidence to back it up. Lastly, we could simply just destroy both conclusions in one go by simply stating that there's no data available for the numbers of bees in each species, or the species evenness as it's called. In which case, there's no way to produce an overall Simpsons biodiversity index for any of these habitats, making both conclusions pretty worthless. We don't have to write all of this in our answer, we just need to choose whether we believe each conclusion to be correct and state some evidence to back that up. So writing something like this would get all available marks. So we could say that the first conclusion is supported by the fact that the mean species richness for the natural habitat is higher than that for the other two habitats throughout the entire study. We could say the second conclusion is not supported because the mean bee numbers in the towns are lower than any other habitat at the start of the year. So that's it for now. Make sure you click the thumbs up and subscribe for many more videos like this one. Follow me on various social media for latest news or revision tips. Good luck with your revision and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.